Well, look what we have here. An alpha pup who thought they could disrespect our pack leader and all of us in the process. How... how disappointing. I would ask if you learned your lesson. But talking with that broken jaw would be impossible. So... Not if you understand what you did was wrong. I said nod. No amount of whimpering or crying will invoke sympathy. If you're looking to be coddled, then go to your mum. <laughs> God knows half the pack has gone to already. Manners, boys. Manners are what separate us from the beasts within. It is the respect we show to our leaders and each other that will strengthen our bonds. When we disrespect Jay's guest, we shame ourselves and pack Phobos. And I can't abide by that. I hope you all learned what happens when you forget your place in this pack. I don't want to have to repeat this lesson, but if you insist, I will gladly oblige. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I can hear his gurgling. <laughs> Pathetic. Someone take him to the doctor before he bleeds out all over my floor. You? Why do you always show up at the most inopportune times? Come with me to my office. No protesting. Just follow. This is much better. We can speak freely here. <laughs> what are you staring at? Yes, I'm a white wolf, so my hair changes when I'm mid-turn. Hence the ears, tail, and other wolfy traits. By your lack of surprise... I'm going to assume you have already been informed of our abilities to half-turn between moon cycles. <laughs> oh yes, darling. I'm sure you think you figured me all out by now. <laughs> Bloody hell. Don't give me that look, pet. You're angry with me for hurting that young pup. Your eyes are filled with sympathy for him, although I can't understand why. Because this was all for you. We had to fight. I needed to beat him into submission. For you. Yes, you! You might have not recognized him through all the blood and bruises, but that was the wolf that dared to flirt with you. Jay sent him to me for punishment. What exactly did you think was going to happen? Did you expect me to put him in time out? Make him go to bed without supper? No, darling. This is our breed of justice you just witnessed. Brutal. <laughs> hmm. It didn't have to be. He was very aware of the fire he was playing with when he challenged Jay. He didn't? <laughs> 
Is that what you think? <laughs> Every pub knows when their alpha is entertaining anyone's company, they are off limits. Even to myself. <clears throat> I didn't mean anything by that. Don't read into things. You saw Jay training with all those young alphas. Any one of them could suddenly decide they are better, stronger, or more equipped to lead. At that time, they would challenge Jay for leadership. I can't allow that. Which is exactly why Jay sent him to me. As his beta, I must be clever, strong, and more feared than anyone. Who would risk taking on Jay if they couldn't even hope to take on his advisor? My strength protects and ensures Jay's leadership. Jay had the luxury to be the nice guy that trains the pack. It's more important for their bonds, but me... I'm the Enforcer. This means my role is not to cuddle or baby these wolves. It is to mold them into the best pack they can be. And sometimes, that means being harsh. It is for the good of Pack Phobos and Jay. It is our way. You might not understand it, being a nosy human who can't help but get in the way and cause commotion everywhere you go. Yes, I'm annoyed with you and the way you grab everyone's attention. Why does everyone think you're so special? Hmm, yes. Everyone. Jay, Cliff, and even Rody all talking to me about one thing. You. It's distracting and obnoxious. I despise hearing your name from their lips. What makes you so... interesting? I've racked my brain over and over trying to come up with an answer. Don't flinch. I won't hurt you. Yes, I am closer to you. I can smell you and your excitement when I'm this close. Can you feel the breath on your cheek? The hair on your skin is rising with merely my hot breath in your ear. <laughs> Why is that, pet? Don't tell me you're falling for me. Maybe you're the type that likes a little punishment. <laughs> Don't lie. I see the way you look at me, how your expression changes when I tease you. I saw how you stared when I cleaned the blood off my body. <laughs> I mean, last time I had to practically beat you off of me. Trying to take advantage of me in my drunken state, making me open up about myself in even the smallest way. And to a human, no less. <laughs> You're an absolute menace. And I made a mistake. I thought if I got this close to you, I'd find some reason why you are so enticing. And then I could justify why I can't seem to get you out of my mind. Unfortunately... That didn't work, and I find myself desiring only to get closer. You keep looking at me like you want to choose me. 
don't. I'm serious. You should really give your attention to one of the others. You have a much better chance of winning one of them over. I could never give you what you need. Not like the others. So don't waste your time or energy thinking you feel anything towards me. Trust me. You deserve better. I only know how to destroy beautiful things. Don't waste your affections on a monster like me. I must go. I need to report to Jay that the punishment has been carried out. Try not to get yourself into any more trouble while I'm not around. Unless you somehow enjoy me beating people within an inch of their lives for you. <laughs> I didn't think so. Take care of yourself, pet. See you at the Hunter's Moon Ceremony. Don't be sad, pet. I wish things were different, but at least I'll get to see you again soon. In the meantime, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. For our mature fans who also like adult content, please go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash anagomi. Or, if you want to commission an audio, you can order one from our website anagomi.com slash commissions. You can commission all your favorite characters, including original Inagomi characters like me. I hope you are as excited about the Hunter's Moon Ceremony as I am. You never know what's going to happen. So I expect you to be there. No excuses, human.